Okay, this video is in response to a question from the Sam Golden Clubhouse from Lance. He was asking about left toe flare, and he said he noticed in a lot of my videos my left toes flared out. He asked if that was an absolute, if it's something that you have to do. And the, the short answer is no, it's not an absolute. But I want to talk about what left toe flare actually does and why I have it. So about 15, maybe 20 years ago, I was trying to keep my feet perpendicular to the target line. So you've got this target line that's going out there. I thought that my feet needed to be perpendicular to that target line. That's what I read in books and that's what I thought I needed to do. And I hit a lot of golf balls back then, like 500 a day. And I started getting this pain on the outside part of my left knee. So I talked to this guy who was a foot guy and he said, well, Sam, you need arch supports in your feet because in your shoes, because you have flat feet and because you have flat feet that reduces your ankle mobility. So if you increase ankle mobility, you, um, by, by having an arch support, then you're going to take the pressure off your knee. And I was like, well, that makes a lot of sense. And then I was like, now I have to put arch supports in all my shoes. And I was like, there's got to be plenty of players with flat feet on the PGA tour. Are they wearing arch supports? So ultimately at the end of the day, what I realized is that my feet are my feet and I need to find a way that my feet will allow me to swing the club. I intend to swing it. So for me, I just, I didn't say I'm going to change the way I use my feet. I just said, I'm not going to restrict the way my feet work. So when I got set up to the ball, I just said, okay, here's what I want to feel in my swing. And then I let my feet adapt or react to that intention. And so over the years, my left foot has gotten more and more flared to the left. Now there's a lot of players we can talk about as far as examples go, players that have done this over the years. Um, pretty much everybody on tour has their left toe flared out to some degree. But if we look back to guys like Hogan, Sam Snead, we see a lot more of it. And I think we saw a lot more of it in the past because there weren't any rules about the feet. It was kind of like these guys were just playing based on shots they intended to hit. They didn't care what their feet looked like. They just cared about the shots that they hit. So I think not to get too far into great detail about why the players have their feet a certain way, but I think when you're told your feet need to be a certain way, it's a lot easier to try to do that versus if you just react to the shot and the intention that you plan, your feet then just, they just do what they need to do to allow you to hit that shot. So left foot flare, it's not an absolute, but it does, for me, it's been a reaction to an intention. And if we talk about the square to square swing and what I intend in the square to square swing, it's a lot more body rotation than it is hands and arms and flipping. So if you want to rotate your body better, it makes a lot of sense to free up your knee and your ankle and your hip to free up your body to rotate easier. And if I think about having my foot more perpendicular to the target line, that's going to restrict my ability to turn and that's going to slow my body rotation down versus if I have my left toe flared, that's going to help me rotate or allow me to rotate better. So definitely don't lock your feet in a specific place. Let your feet adapt to your intention. If your intention is a more of a rotational swing, even on the back swing, you might you might flare your right foot back or your trail leg back a little bit open to allow you to rotate better on your backswing or easier on your backswing. And you might have your left toe flared out on, for your through swing so you can rotate easier on your through swing. So I hope that's helpful for you, Lance. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment uh, in the comment section. And if you know anybody else that you think might benefit from this, feel free to share it as well. Thanks for watching.